guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can probably tell by the title, today I'm going to be doing a huge Primark haul. Primark, Primark. I know I say Primark wrong, but I ain't going to change it, guys. Um, I have not one, but two gigantic bags. All these clothes are from um, two separate shopping occasions. So I went to the Primark in Cardiff and got a bag full. And I also went to Primark in Swansea and got a bag full. These are all items I've kind of picked up over like the past two months, I would say. They're all suitable for the autumn and the winter coming up. And I did check, they still have all of these items in store, guys. So they are all still available. Some of the clothes I've already worn and most of the tags have been taken off because I'm just a nightmare for taking tags off when I'm trying things on. And I didn't actually realise I'd be doing this haul. But I was just looking over at the bags earlier and I was thinking... I could so do a Primark haul. Clothing hauls are some of my favourite videos to watch. Like, I freaking love watching clothing hauls, especially before going on a shopping trip. I find it so handy seeing what's actually in store before you go. I just thought it'd be something a bit different and I'd show you guys what I've picked up in Primark recently. Just before I get into the video, I do want to quickly say I'm really sorry for the lack of Halloween content I put up this year. I actually had all these looks in mind and I previously filmed like, I don't know, eight different Halloween looks and I managed to get up two. Which isn't acceptable and I've really been beating myself up about it. But I've had so much going on at the moment, guys. Um, really unexpected circumstances. I've been back and forth to the hospital with my boyfriend John. He's been really, really unwell. And he still is really unwell. So I just haven't had a chance to um, edit those videos and get them up. Obviously it's too late now. Halloween's over. And yeah. And there's not a lot I can do, so I don't know whether to just save those videos and upload them next year for Halloween. I just have to put everything on hold and be there for John. I haven't even been in the right mind to sort of film makeup videos. Um, I knew I had to get something up and that's why I looked at these bags and thought, Prima call, let's do it. See, I'm really sorry about that, guys. All of the photos that you would have seen on my SFX Instagram page, I did film every single one and just didn't end up uploading. Enough of me talking, let's get into this haul. The first item I picked up was actually this top, which I'm wearing now. Just this lovely stretchy jumper, um, and it's like quite thin, which I live in in the winter, and I just pop like a waistcoat or something on top. Yeah, it's like this lovely green teal shade, I would say, dark green shade, and this is five pounds. I also picked up in the same sort of material, um, this black, thin jumper but this one's got um, a turtleneck. I believe this was four or five pounds. Again, I don't have the tags on most things guys. I don't know where I put the receipt but I can sort of remember the prices on each. So this wasn't expensive at all, about four or five pounds. Uh, just a stretchy turtleneck. <laughs> I also got another one of those um, turtlenecks. Literally, let's have a look. Literally exactly the same but in um, this grey colour. I just love these for the autumn and winter. They're so, so comfy. The next thing I got is this denim skirt which I absolutely fell in love with when I seen it. Um, it's just normal denim skirt with the buttons down the front. I'm sure this was about 18 to £20. Pound. They still had loads of these in stock yesterday when I went as well. Um, I just love a denim skirt in the autumn with some tights and some boots. <laughs> By the way guys, I'm not doing this in like any particular order. I'm just grabbing what I see. This next item I absolutely love um, is this um, like dungaree. Is it a dungaree? Yeah, like a dungaree dress uh, in this lovely camel toed. Camel toned, not camel toed. <laughs> You'll just forget I said that. Camel toned. <laughs> Probably wear this with a white turtleneck. And yeah, I really like that one. I'm sure this was £10. Sticking with the dungaree dress, I also picked up this one. I couldn't decide between the both. So um, yeah, this is like this lovely burgundy suede dungaree dress. Um, it's slightly different because it's got the buttons down the front. But how lovely is that for autumn and winter? I'd wait this Christmas time as well. That was about £10 as well, guys. Next thing I picked up, oh my gosh. I literally seen this hanging up in the distance in Primark. And I literally, like, darted towards it. Um, and it's just literally a plain scarf. 
They had loads of different colours, like all the colours of the rainbow. They had blue, um, pink, yellow, orange, red. But I was really drawn, for some reason, to this green one. And I don't know why, I just thought it was such a nice colour. And I don't really own any plain scarves. All my scarves are like checked or patterned. <laughs> so yeah, I was really drawn to that. Um, that was literally £3, I believe. I tend to wear a load of skirts in the autumn and winter, guys. So I'm really sorry if this haul is like full of skirts. But I pair them with tights like every day. <laughs> I picked up this lovely camo skirt. I picked this up last month and I couldn't see it yesterday in Primark. But I actually got this in the Cardiff Primark. So it might still be available in some stores. This is £20. I would wear this with like a pair of Vans in the summertime as well. So, so yeah, nice denim camo skirt. This next item I absolutely love. Um, I went in there purposely looking for one of these guys because I've wanted one for so long. And it is this Borg jacket or Teddy jacket, whatever you want to call it. I originally ordered a Borg jacket from Pretty Little Thing, I think it was. Yeah, Pretty Little Thing. Paid almost £50 for this jacket off Pretty Little Thing. Um, and I came back and it was awful. It was like just horrendous. I hated it. Um, so I sent it back and found one for near enough half the price in Primark. This was £25. Um, oh, I love it. So cutty and warm for the autumn and winter. I absolutely love it. Um, just be careful if you are trying them on in the shop um, because you get fluff everywhere. And then I also got, surprise surprise, another skirt. This lovely mustard skirt with like the buttons down the front. Are they called turtle shells? For some reason that's ringing a bell. I think they're called turtle shell buttons. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've literally bought like three or four of these skirts, guys. I believe they're called like paper bag style skirts where the top basically goes like this. As you can see, it's all like ruffled at the top. They're so stretchy and just unbelievably comfortable, guys. I've been wearing this one a lot, actually. I think this was £8. Perfect for autumn. Whilst I'm here, I'll show you the same item. So I also got it in um, this lovely shade. In real life, this is like a copper shade. For some reason, it looks red on camera. Or is it just me? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I got it in this copper colour, I absolutely love again. And I also picked it up in this lovely teal colour. I just can't get enough of them. They are super comfy, super stretchy. So yeah, £8 each, bargain. Next thing I picked up were these lovely boots. So in the autumn, I practically live in boots. I got these ones from Primark in brown and they're so comfortable, guys. I wear them all the time. So I went back yesterday to get a pair in black as well. Um, so they're suede. Um, they do mark quite a bit, but I'm not too bothered about that. They're only cheap. Um, how much are they? £10. They've got like two buckles on the side, um, but they zip up from the inside. Yeah, so... Everyone needs a pair of black boots in the altar. I got a tartan bauble, like a pound for a pack or two. Um, I don't know where the other one's gone, but it was like a black one and a tartan one. So, yep. Yeah. I absolutely love this. So I got this yesterday. It doesn't look like it's from Primark, does it? Like how lovely is that? Um, I've been looking for like a nudie color bag. Something that goes with everything, I suppose. It's got a body strap. It's really handy for when you're away or when you're shopping. Um, it's got a big compartment at the back. Um, and then this undoes and you've got a big compartment at the front. Um, it's like a lovely nudie stone shade. This was £8. What I liked about this bag is that it was like the perfect size. Most of my like overbody bags are kind of like half the size. I seen this, I was like, that's perfect. I'm literally like Mary Poppins, guys, when it comes to bags, I'm so bad. If you know me, you know that. I've always got everything in my bag. Like, I thought it was perfect. I can fit my purse in here, because I've got like quite a long purse. I can fit a bottle of water in here. I can fit everything in here. So yeah, I'm happy with that for eight pound. Next thing I got, which I was drawn to once again, I seen it like sparkling in the distance and I'm pretty much a magpie. So I went running over. Yeah, it's this black hat. How lovely is that? got like diamonds all over it. 
This was four pounds, which I thought was a bargain. Let me try and put it on without messing up my hair. Yeah, totally messed up my hair. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm looking like a garden gnome right now. So yeah, four pound, I absolutely love this for winter. Next thing I picked up were these lovely heel boots. I have worn them already, I couldn't resist. These are only 20 pounds. They look like this. They are like a suede boot with like a snake print on the back. I absolutely love like chunky boots for this time of year. I wear them with tights and skirts. They're really comfy as well, guys. This next thing is like my favorite piece of clothing out of everything I've bought. And you're gonna think I'm crazy because I've got two of them, but this is the color I actually originally wanted. I couldn't find it anyway. And then I went into Primark yesterday it was just the first thing I seen. I was like, oh, and I had to get it. <laughs> Another Teddy jacket, but in like an emerald green color. Oh my God, I love it. I prefer this one over the cream one. This was 25 pounds as well, but I've got two of them now from Prima in two different colors as opposed to that one from Pretty Little Thing. That's how my mind works. I've spent the same amount of money, but I got two. Love this jacket so much. My lovely Nan got this for me for my birthday. It's not from Primark, it's from New Look. Um, but it's this lovely skirt, stretchy material, another skirt, I know. Um, I know there's a name for this pattern. If you know the name of this pattern, please leave me a comment below, because I haven't got a clue. Can't wait to wear this with some black tights and my chunky boots. <laughs> That's from New Look, that was 9 99 This isn't clothing, um, but I thought I'd show it anyway, because I get asked quite often, what fake tan I use and it's literally this one from Primark the CB Cocoa Brown by Marissa Carter in the dark shade I absolutely love this tan I put it on before bed in the night and wash it off the following day and it gives like a lovely bronzed look not tanned at the moment but I will be using it tonight it's either three pound or six pound here's I've just been buying um I think it's actually by the same brand. I think it's the Cocoa Brown Tanning Mitt. If you're familiar with Primark Booty, it's like the pink one. Um, but the tan always goes through and you get like, you get like tan around your hands and they always break and basically they're not very good quality. But I come across this one. It's the Bronze Keep Glowing Velvet Sun Mitt, which was £3.50. It comes in packaging like this. It's literally like an oven glove. But it's a velvet material. I feel like it's so much better quality and it's going to last me a lot longer. So um, it's worth paying that little bit extra for this mitt, I think, guys. So I think that's pretty much everything, guys. But I feel like I'm sorted now for autumn and winter. Hope you all enjoyed this little clothing haul, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you all had a lovely Halloween, guys. It's bonfire night tomorrow, so I hope you all enjoy your bonfire night, whatever you're doing. Stay safe. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe below if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.